In the realm of ancient wisdom, there existed a luminary whose name shone like a beacon in the starlit sky, Thales of Miletus. Through the mists of time, his tales of cosmic wonder and philosophical insight have endured, leaving an indelible mark upon the annals of history. Join me as we journey into the heart of Thales' world, where myth and reason intertwine and the quest for truth knows no bounds. In the ancient annals, amidst the tales woven by time's relentless tapestry, there emerges the figure of Thales of Miletus, a luminary among the illustrious seven wise men, those revered custodians of ancient wisdom. Born into the world circa 624-620 BCE, his departure from mortal shores marked by the shadows of circa 548-545 BCE, his essence lingered in the echoes of antiquity. Thales, the philosopher whose thoughts traversed the celestial spheres and delved into the depths of existence, found solace in the notion that water, fluid and boundless, formed the very essence of all matter. In his vision, Earth lay as a flat disk adrift upon the vast expanse of a primordial sea, a testament to his profound contemplations. Yet, as the sands of time relentlessly erode the monuments of remembrance, no parchment bears the ink of Thales' own hand, no scroll retains his wisdom in its original form. Thus, the measure of his achievements remains elusive, shrouded in the mists of antiquity. His inclusion among the venerable seven wise men elevated him to the realm of legend, where his name became synonymous with wisdom itself. Tales, both true and fanciful, adorned his legacy, ascribed to him acts of sagacity and utterances of profundity, echoing through the corridors of time. Herodotus, the chronicler of ages past, painted Thales as not merely a philosopher, but a pragmatic statesman who advocated for the unity of the Ionian cities nestled along the Aegean shores. In the annals of lore, it is whispered that Thales, with the keen eye of a navigator, espoused the guidance of sailors by the light of the little bear, steering their vessels through the darkness of the boundless sea. Some claim he wielded the tools of geometry to measure the towering edifices of the Egyptian pyramids and to gauge the distance betwixt ship and shore upon the fathomless waters. Yet amidst the myriad tales that adorn his legend, perhaps none shines as brightly as the tale of the solar eclipse. Xenophanes, the poet-philosopher, wove the strands of prophecy into the tapestry of Thales' life, claiming he foresaw the celestial spectacle that halted the clash of kings. A battle stilled, its fury quenched by the veiling of the sun, an eclipse that swept across the heavens, casting its shadow upon the tumult of men. Modern scholars, however, cast a skeptical gaze upon this tale questioning the veracity of such foresight. Could Thales truly have pierced the veil of time to predict the eclipse, or did fortune smile upon him with but a fleeting glimpse of truth? Yet, regardless of the veracity of the claim, the eclipse, nearly total and cast upon the backdrop of a decisive conflict, lent credence to the mythos of Thales, elevating him to the pantheon of celestial scholars.
Thales, revered among the luminaries of antiquity, stands as a beacon in the realm of geometry, credited with unraveling the mysteries of shape and form. Five sacred theorems are whispered in hushed tones, attributed to his prodigious intellect, each a testament to his profound understanding of the geometric tapestry woven by the gods. In the sacred halls of knowledge, it is said that Thales unveiled the divine truth that a circle, pristine and unbroken, finds its equilibrium in the bisecting gaze of its diameter. Thus, the celestial symmetry of the heavens found reflection in the earthly realm. With eyes keen and mind sharp, Thales delved into the heart of the triangle, uncovering the hidden harmony within its angles. Opposing sides, bound by the law of equivalence, yielded their secrets to his discerning gaze, revealing that equality dwelled where symmetry reigned. As intersecting lines danced upon the canvas of existence, Thales discerned the subtle dance of angles where opposite forces found balance in their shared magnitude. Thus, the cosmic order found expression in the meeting of lines, where equilibrium held sway. Within the sacred confines of the semicircle, Thales discerned the whisper of divinity, for he beheld that the angle inscribed within its arc was naught but a right angle, an affirmation of celestial harmony manifest in earthly form. And amidst the labyrinthine paths of the triangle, Thales found the key to unlock its mysteries, for he knew that with but the base and the two angles at its feet, the triangle's fate was sealed, its form and essence revealed in entirety. Yet amidst the accolades and whispered praises that adorn his name, the true extent of Thales' mathematical legacy remains shrouded in the mists of antiquity. For in an age where wisdom and insight were revered above all else, the attribution of discoveries to men of renown was as much a matter of tradition as it was of truth. Thus, Thales' mathematical achievements, like stars scattered across the night sky, shine with a brilliance undimmed by the passage of time, yet forever veiled in the enigma of ancient wisdom. In the annals of philosophy, the name of Thales of Miletus stands as a towering colossus, a pioneer whose footsteps marked the path toward understanding the very fabric of existence. Among the venerable sages of old, it is Aristotle who, with quill in hand, etched the indelible mark of Thales' legacy upon the tablets of history. Aristotle, sage of Stagira, master of reason, proclaimed Thales as the progenitor of European philosophy, attributing to him the audacious notion that a single substance, water or moisture, lay at the heart of the universe's tapestry. In the crucible of his mind, Thales forged a bold hypothesis, daring to strip away the veils of complexity to reveal the elemental essence that bound all things together. Yet Thales's philosophical musings transcended mere materialism, for Aristotle professed that within the recesses of Thales' intellect resided a belief that the cosmos itself pulsed with divine presence. All things are full of gods, Thales declared, weaving the threads of the divine into the very fabric of existence. In the labyrinthine corridors of Thales' thought, Aristotle discerned a profound insight into the nature of motion and life, for Thales beheld in magnetic objects not mere inert matter, but vessels imbued with souls. In the dance of iron filings drawn by unseen forces, Thales glimpsed the essence of vitality, where motion and change whispered the secrets of life itself. Yet Thales' true significance lies not merely in his choice of water as the primordial substance, but in his quest to unravel the mysteries of nature through the lens of reason. With each conjecture, each hypothesis, Thales sought to peel back the layers of ignorance to reveal the hidden hand of causality that guided the cosmos. 
In the pantheon of ancient thought, Thales stands as a bridge between the realms of myth and reason, his footsteps echoing across the ages, inspiring generations of philosophers to come. Alongside his successors, Anaximander and Anaximenes of Miletus, Thales forged a path illuminated by the flickering torch of inquiry, guiding humanity toward a deeper understanding of the universe and our place within it. In the gentle embrace of twilight, Amidst the whispers of celestial beings, there exists a place beyond the veils of ordinary perception, a sanctuary known as Secretum. Here, amidst the ethereal glow of starlight, every soul finds solace, every heart finds its song. Welcome, dear traveler, to this enchanted realm where the tapestry of life intertwines with the mysteries of the universe. Together, we shall navigate the labyrinth of existence seeking truth, wisdom, and the hidden treasures of the soul. In the sacred dance of existence, every moment is a melody waiting to be sung, every encounter a verse waiting to be penned. Here, amidst the whispers of the cosmos, you will find inspiration in the most unexpected places, for in Secretum, the boundaries of imagination are boundless and the realms of possibility are infinite. Let us wander through the corridors of time, tracing the footsteps of those who came before us and forging new paths where none have tread. Let us delve into the depths of our own hearts, exploring the vast landscapes of emotion and the untold stories that lie within. For in the tapestry of existence, every thread is precious, every experience a treasure to be cherished. And so, dear traveler, as you embark on this journey through the realms of Secretum, remember that you are not merely a passenger, but an integral part of the cosmic symphony. Your presence enriches our world, your voice adds depth to our chorus, and your spirit illuminates the darkness like a beacon in the night. Breathe in the essence of possibility, feel the heartbeat of the universe echoing within your soul and know that here, in Secretum, you are cherished, you are celebrated, and you are loved. For this is a realm where dreams take flight, where imagination knows no bounds, and where the bonds of friendship and kinship transcend the limitations of time and space. So let us journey together, dear traveler, into the realms of wonder and magic, where the stars sing lullabies to the moon, and where every dawn brings the promise of new beginnings. For this is Secretum, a sanctuary of the spirit, a haven for the weary traveler, and a home for the wandering soul. Here, amidst the ebb and flow of existence, you are not alone. Welcome to Secretum, dear traveler. Here, amidst the stars, we journey hand in hand through life's mysteries, eagerly awaiting your presence among us. In Secretum, you are never alone.